What up, Jiffers? Our place back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. And we are back with the baddest geck in town. And we have finally got a name for our little geck hero. And this guy is going to be called Geku. <laughs> so I guess we've just mixed the word geck with Goku. Uh, that was one of the suggestions in the comments from you guys. So thank you for that. I loved it as soon as I saw it. I was like, yes, huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Goku was my idol growing up as a kid. Uh, probably should have picked a more realistic idol, but you know, <laughs> goals. <laughs> so Geku is the name of our new little geck hero. And today we've got some work to do. I've got a ruthless negotiation mission, which means I have to fly out of here and take down some baddies. But before we do that, before we get to exploring, I want to interrupt this video for a little emergency broadcast. So the reason I wanted to stop the video and share something with you is because something really cool has happened and that is I have received my first ever little package to the brand new P.O. box. So if you do want to send me anything, any cool little stuff, No Man's Sky related or anything else at all, then you can do that. The P.O. box address is in the pinned comment and the description of all of my videos. Uh, but something came through and I really want to share this because it's pretty freaking cool. So a guy called Roland, one of the fellow Jippers beloved in the Jipper colony, reached out to me to say that he had a hardback copy of this magazine. So this really cool magazine featuring No Man's Sky on the front cover there is one that I have in my collection and one that I really, really like. But I've got the softback, you know, the, the kind of cheap copy of the book. He had this really cool hardback version and he reached out to me on Twitter to say, I wanted to send you this. Is there any way that I could do that? So that's what kind of encouraged me to set up the PO box in the first place. I don't want you guys to go and spend all of your life savings and fortunes and send me uh, expensive stuff. But if there's cool little things that you think I would love or little fan mail or pictures or something like that that you want to send me, then that's what that's there for. And this is the first thing that I got. So I wanted to thank Roland for that. Really freaking cool. You guys know I'm a huge collector of No Man's Sky stuff. I did my collection video and I think I have got the world's biggest No Man's Sky merch collection. I've never heard of or seen of anyone that has more than me at the moment. So it's a bit of an addiction, but it's really fun. So yeah, I'm really happy to have this adding to my collection. But that wasn't it and that wasn't really what I wanted to show off in this video. Because he sent me a nice little note uh, and he also sent me some other really cool stuff. So Roland goes by the gamer tag Zonary Shelf 90 and he actually has his own little planet, his own little Jipper Colony outpost and he sent me some really beautiful photo print pictures. So I wanted to kind of share that and the portal address is on there. So you guys can go there, you can go and visit his little planet his little outpost, which he's called the Red Orb Outpost, and go and see him there. It's a beautiful planet with some beautiful views, and you might get to meet a fellow Jipper. So I wanted to show that off. He also sent me some other really beautiful screenshots, and they've been printed out on this really nice photo paper. So I don't know, that's just, I thought that was something really cool, really nice. Another fellow Jipper, and of course, a fellow Gek. So instantly he becomes one of my favorites. Uh, and some really cool pictures. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show off. But there was one more thing, which is now going to be a permanent resident on my little studio desk here whenever I'm recording. And that was this absolutely awesome picture, all framed of his little get hero just waving at me there. And I just thought, like, wow, I couldn't believe it. I was expecting him to just send me the little magazine, and I thought that would be really cool. And he's gone and sent me all of this awesome stuff. And that little picture frame is just going on my desk now. So whenever I'm playing, whenever I'm recording, I've got a little fellow Gek just waving me on on my travels. So, yeah. I wanted to show that off, and I wanted to say a huge thank you to Roland. That is really, really cool. Stuff like that, I don't know. It's just so motivating when people, like, go to the effort to send you something cool like that. It doesn't have to be something expensive. I'm not saying send me all of your money or gold or anything like that that I've got a Patreon if you want to send me all your money, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was really cool. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked seeing that too. And uh, I guess we should get back to exploring. Thank you so much for that, Roland. Really freaking cool. You are the first person to send me anything. Uh, and of course, that will be a memory that stays with me forever. Especially now that I've got my little uh, Gek picture frame on the desk here whenever I record. So yeah, really freaking cool. And thank you so, so much. Honestly, that is awesome. But... Now we have to get back to business. I want to upgrade my hyperdrive as well. So I've got the Cadium one, the one that would let me go to red star systems. And I hear there's some really cool stuff there, but I need to actually gather the resources to build it. So that's something we're going to be doing today. And hopefully we'll get to a red system, maybe. But I've also now got the latest update, 1.58. So we might be able to do the community mission. So yeah, I guess, fingers crossed, hopefully we'll get to do some things today. 
Let's fly out here and see what happens first. Are we gonna fight the pirates? Oh, here we go. Pirate detected. They ain't got no chance. I want to build the rocket launcher as well. That's the other thing I need to get resources for. I've got the blueprint and I've upgraded to the large rocket tubes, which sounds cool as heck, uh, but I haven't actually got the rocket launcher. So I've got the large rocket tubes installed, but no launcher just yet. But we'll get it. We'll get it. Hopefully it doesn't sound too echoey today. My studio is undergoing some uh, work at the moment. So it's a little bit empty, but I mean, hopefully it's okay. <laughs> and I shouldn't have mentioned it because if it's not okay, now you're gonna focus on that. Hold on, look into my eyes. I'll use the Gek magic. Everything sounds perfect. <laughs> okay, where's this pirate? Come here, you fool. He's about to get gypped and whipped. <laughs> Jip. I still can't believe I accidentally named the planet that. That's the beautiful Diplo planet. I kind of want to go back there at some point. Maybe we will, but not today. Today we gotta we gotta get some. Ooh, three stars, huh? Big boy. Okay, we can take him. We can take him, maybe. Yeah, that was a foolish move. Okay, I'm gonna use my little. Here we go. Here we go. Right, wait, wait, wait. He's running. He's running. My fearless uh, reputation precedes me once again. Out of range. I can clearly hit. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. It's on! He's only, there's only one of him though, so I feel like we should be able to take him out. Oh, 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 where's he going? Oh, look at him, he's trying the old spin a -rooney. You think you can fool me that easily, huh? Unfortunately for you, a Gex head can rotate 360 degrees, so I can still keep track of it. Yeah, hey, well, wow. Okay, I, I mean, I say I can still keep track of it. <laughs> I'm gonna get made a fool of here. Like, Come on, get him, get him! Yes, wait. Wait, see, this is why I need the rocket launchers. The rocket launchers are my favourite weapon in the game. Come back here, fool. Bow before the Gek Overlord. Hey, ah! Get, stay still. Is he recovering health? Oh, we might accept it. Outrageous behaviour. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I've got loads of stuff to uh, heal my shields, so I should be able to do this. As long as I pay attention to my shields and don't forget that I need to. Hey, yeah, yeah, stay still! Why can't I heal? What is his nimble, I have to say? I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like we're doing okay. We're gonna get him. I need to move more when I fight, don't I? I know that I know that I do need to. But I can't like I can't do two things at once. I can't move and try and aim my missiles at the same time. So I end up just staying still and trying to hit them that way. Uh, but I mean, it works for the most part as long as I have enough uh, shield regeneration resources. Come here, fool! Why aren't I here? Uh, get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, he's almost down. He's almost down. We've got it. We've got this. Yeah, I'm gonna get chipped and creeped. Get him! Get him! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. We're so close. We're so close. Got him! <laughs> Sucker. That's what you get. That is what you get for trying to mess with me, boy. Uh, so I can, if I go to the anomaly, I can start the community. What is that? Oh, that's the return to my mission. Okay. Uh, I could do the anomaly thing. Do we want to do the community event? I feel like maybe we should check it out right I guess that's like that's something we've not actually done I did my little video on it where I was on the PC testing out an experimental Ooh, I thought that was gonna break my ship uh, but I haven't actually tried to do it in my main gameplay so let's see if let's see if we can head on over here and get started I'll at least pick up the mission so that we can do it if we want to do it because I think you need to go to a portal and then it well I know you need to go to a portal but you don't need the glyphs so that's really cool actually because I still don't have all the glyphs <laughs> How many, like, a couple of hundred episodes in? No, don't have the glyphs. Don't have hardly any of the good upgrades for my weapons or my ship. Ah, uh, I'm such a... Whoa, this is broken. Help me. Okay, that was strange. It's a glyph in the matrix. We can go see the little Quicksilver vendor. I love the little lore and story behind the Quicksilver vendor. I didn't think they'd bother adding anything like that. Uh, but the story is that Polo actually created him with his own paws. And it actually says paws as well, which... <laughs> So cute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Polo created the guy uh, so that we could trade with him. So that's pretty cool. Uh, da -da -da -da. Nada is free and not free. <sighs> Schroding is Nada. Uh, happy and not happy, but Nada is safe. Yes, yes, yes. So you can have... I will... Ooh, what do I want? Do I want resources? Let's seek the path of the Atlas. We are children of the Atlas, one and all. Thank you very much. Now get out of my way, fool. Uh, I don't have any milestone data for you, good sir. Mr. Polo, looking rather green today. Friend everywhere. If only you know where to look. Friends in all shit. <laughs> I always think that's like a um, a Dr. Zeus thing. Uh, da -da. Find data for Polo. Find data for Polo. Okay, yeah. Oh, what's the multi tool? What we got? Oh, somebody sent me the portal cords to an S class multi tool in Eisenton. 
one day I'll say that word the same. Isantium, Isentum, who knows, but there is one. That's 20 slots. What's mine? I think mine's less than that, right? 18. Ooh. 890,000. I mean, I got loads of money. I could totally afford it. But, I mean, at the same time, nah, it's not. I'm holding out for a 24. And maybe I'll do the one that someone sent me the address to, I think. Hello, buddy. Does this guy have a name? I didn't pay attention. I was so excited to find out what he did. No, just quick silver synthesis companion. It's so strange to think that Polo just created life. What other weird powers does Polo have that we don't know about? Hmm? Wally. <laughs> it looks like the old uh, Johnny Five robot. I don't know if anyone ever saw those movies. They're before my time, but I watched a lot of old movies. Um, yeah, this is all the cool stuff that we can buy. I want to get the helmet. I probably won't wear the helmet because I love the way my little Get Hero looks now. Uh, but I just want it because it's something that I could wear if I wanted to, you know? It's like the Xbox one. You have to have it even if you're not going to wear it. Okay, so they're the stuff we can get. I think I need to leave the anomaly and that will kick off the mission. I don't know if I want to do the mission just yet. I'm not sure. I kind of want to... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? We'll see. We can see the beautiful planet for the community event. It's, uh, it's a really nice planet, actually. Definitely one that they must have gone and handpicked. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I've seen some people loving the new community event and some people complaining about it, saying it's just a fetch quest. And I'm like, it's the first one they've done, and I thought it was quite, quite, quite cool, you know, like the whole Easter egg hunt thing. I don't know, I find that kind of stuff fun. I love Easter in real life. Like, my parents used to hide mini eggs and Cadbury cream eggs all over the garden and the house, and we'd have to go and find them. That's what it feels like. Nostalgic. <laughs> Is that another anomaly? Hey? What just happened? Signal detected. Report your progress to Polo. Yeah, but I just did that. So, I don't know. Is that going to let me... Oh, new beginnings. Okay. Uh, the Atlas Path. I think we're just going to stick on the Atlas Path. Maybe, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to... It says just return to the anomaly. <laughs> okay, should we try it? I'm going to go back to the anomaly and see if I can actually get the quest to start or if it's like bugged or something. I know some people have been having issues trying to get it to start. I think all you need to have done is the first mission to allow you to start it. So if you haven't been able to start it and you have done the first mission, it could be bugged. Um, but I mean, I'm sure they'll fix that. But yeah, I'll do that and then we'll come back hopefully with it started or if not, we'll do something else. <laughs> What a day. Success! I managed to get it to work. All I had to do was go in and out of the anomaly a few times. And then when I went into space, I got a communicator message asking me to start the challenge. And that automatically located this portal for me. And guess what? It's on Planet Jib. So <laughs> we now know where the portal is on Planet Jib, I guess. Should I drop a comms beacon here? I guess I should. Like, if anyone ever wants to come here, I can just come back later and easily get to the... Um the portal right so let's do that where should we drop it right there and i'm just, i'm just gonna, we're just gonna leave a message saying jipped again <laughs> uh if i can actually do it properly here we go jipped <laughs> the the infamous catchphrase jipped again <laughs> what a message when you just come out of the portal i've lost connection to online discover outrageous are they still having server troubles Eesh. Fix them, please. Okay, right, let's see. Rings of the... Okay, cool. So, oh, ruins, not rings. I'm crazy. So this should work without needing any... Yeah, there you go. You just get the message to import input Polo's glyphs. So you don't need to have the glyphs to do the community mission. You don't need PS Plus. You don't need to be playing, like, with a multiplayer or anything like that. Anyone can do this. I think it even works for the people on GOG that don't have uh, multiplayer yet because they're still trying to work on that. So everybody should be able to do this as long as you've done the first mission. Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone's going to have a good time with it. And we only have a couple of days left, so I want to try and do this on all of my saves. Because <laughs> I want the Quicksilver, I want to buy all the stuff. Uh, I think you can keep redoing it as well to earn as much Quicksilver as you want. Because, you know, got to get those rewards. Got to get that Gek treasure. Through the portal. Dun, dun, dun! This is me, like, flying at Super Saiyan speeds with Geku. I'm not actually in my ship right now, am I? I'm just like... Whoop. I wish you could see your character. Well, like, I wish they would change the portal animation so you see your character kind of like... <laughs> like warping through it or something like that. Or like falling. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like... Any animation that lets me see the Gek in funny poses is something I want. <laughs> it's the important things that I worry about with these patches, you see. <laughs> I think they fixed a lot of the issues as well now. There's still going to be some issues. I, like, I know it's super frustrating for people that are having big issues. I know there's uh, some people in the Jipper colony, there's a guy called Amrath who's just 
just had so many issues ever since Next Drop D has not really been able to play, and it's like, ah, hopefully they fix all that soon. Again. Okay, so this is the planet. This is the community. Oh my gosh, everyone is building bases here. We've got, what's this? Oh, there's, there's an actual person right now. Oh, there's, of course, there's loads of people just here. Oh, everyone's joining my game as well. That's crazy. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Hopefully, I've I got voice turned off. Otherwise, this could make for a very interesting video. What a place. Let's take a look at this with the lights on. Holy moly. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is pretty freaking beautiful, guys. Look at it. It's no toy in Gamma, but it looks pretty nice. I like the, uh, like the floating, the uh, islands everywhere. And the, like, ocean all over the place. Yeah, this is a cool place. So someone from Hello Games, I, I think this is how it worked, has come here and, like, picked this planet. And they've gone, yep, yeah, this is going to be the one every single player goes to on all platforms uh, to do the challenge. So what actually, so I just need to dig for strange objects. So if I scan a Rooney, I should get some uh, hazardous, oh, that's one of those jibber snappers. Get out of here, fool. Where is he? Hmm. Alright, let me scan. Let me... What is that? Glowing plant. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to scan everything. I just want to... Should we... Oh, I want to go see if we can see one of the bases, actually. Is there one that's really close to me? 400... Yeah, that's like... That's only a short walk. We can explore this beautiful planet together. I wonder... What... Oh, I wonder if there's any... I wonder if they've picked it just because the planet is beautiful. Or if there's some really cool creatures here. Like if there's a Mega Diplo or something like that. No, I mean, I'm getting greedy. I found too many Diplos lately. Buy one more. <laughs> the Gek have a never-ending appetite for riches and glory. And finding a Diplo is about as glorious as things get, right? Da -da 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 -da. Look at me go. Wow, this is a really mountainy place, huh? I really like this place. This is definitely... I'm, I'm really excited to see, like, are they always going to pick really freaking beautiful planets for the challenges? I guess it depends what the challenge is. It makes sense to have a beautiful planet for this challenge, right? Because it's an Easter egg hunt, so you're going to be walking around exploring for quite a while on the planet. You want it to be beautiful while you're doing it. But if it's like a dangerous challenge where they have to, where we have to fight something in the future, maybe they'll make it on like a more hostile planet or something to make it more challenging. I don't know. I like. It's just pure speculation at the minute, thinking about like what future challenges could be. Uh, but I definitely like this one, and I hope we get some other cool ones. Uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I'd love to see Exocraft races as a challenge. I really would. And they've said that you'll be able to unlock uh, new Exocraft types or something like that with future challenges. Which I assume they're talking about like decals and stuff rather than actually new vehicle types. But who knows? Who knows? Okay, that's the event system habitable base. Okay, all right, well, there's not actually a... Oh, there could be a base here, but I just can't see it because of the server issues, I guess. Eek. Oh man, is that like, oh, that makes me so sad. Like, there could be so many awesome bases here, and I just can't see them. I can't see them. Maybe we'll build something cool here. I feel like that'd be good. Leave our mark on the first ever community planet. Uh, right, okay, let me scan around, see if I can find any of these things. Alien artifacts. Are these, are these the things, let's see if these are the things that I have to find. I think they are. Wait, hey, hey, get, wow, how rude of you. Oh, I like the sky on this. Is it becoming sunshine? Sunshine? Sun time. I, <laughs> I need to get out more. I'm like, is it becoming sun time? I think I mean daytime. No, it's the better technology, isn't it, that I need to find? I, <laughs> I did this exact thing, like, three days ago. <laughs> and I'm like, how, how does this work? Uh, hello, Bobby. <laughs> it looks like a little toilet brush. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure you're a majestic creature, really. That's a cargo drop. Hmm. I ain't seeing nothing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I hope I don't... Ah, there's one, there's one. There we go, right, let's go grab it. Choo! Let's run. Running through the jungle. Running through the jungle, gonna get these little hex cores. I'm gonna win the community event and get the biggest scores. I should not write songs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to bring out an album, a No Man's Sky Gek inspired album. It would be great. <laughs> okay, is this going to be a hex core? Yes, there we go. We have one. I think so. To, yeah, 25 is how. You can get more than 25 though, right? You don't have to get 25. If you get more, you get better rewards. Big money, big bucks, big quicksilver. Look at all these. This is insane. There are so many bases right now. And I can't see a single freaking one of them, which makes me very sad. Oh, I want to see the bases. Let me see the bases. Okay, let's go hunt for another one of these things. 
Should we come back? I'm gonna come back in the daytime because I think we'll just run around and explore this place a little. Uh, it's cool that there's other people just like playing right now on this challenge. Like that's, I guess that's the community aspect to it. Um, if you've got like the online services and you have got PS Plus and stuff, you you can have like other players just dropping into your game that are doing the challenge with you. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, we're back on Ozen Gamma in the daytime. This is the community challenge planet and it is pretty. I'm surprised they went with the red one because loads of people are complaining that they find too many red planets and they're like, here's another red planet. Uh, I like them. I like this one particularly though because it's a lot of water. There's another buried tech thing over there which will give me some more of the hex cores that I need to make my buckaroonies, my quicksilver buckaroonies. And am I using the freaking terrain manipulator again? No, I wasn't. I wasn't using it. Wait, I am. I am using the terrain manipulator. Oh no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Ignore me. Yeah, see, look, I'm not using this. I'm using the mining beam, but it's showing up as red. And this is why I sometimes get confused. And that's where the results in everybody, you guys, laughing at me in the comments because I was using this terrain manipulator instead of my mining beam. It's hard to keep the difference between them when the mining beam sometimes turns red and the terrain manipulator sometimes turns green and things are all messed up and weird. How am I supposed to keep track of things? Especially with my attention span. <laughs> uh, let's, I want to take a dip in the water to see if there's any like creatures or anything cool underneath. Uh, oh, oh, it's a very, oh, we have got creatures straight away. Nice. Yeah, we got the little wormies. They look so creepy, don't they? Oh, no. They're really quick. Huh. Oh, this is cool. I love little Geku when he swims in the water because his head makes him look like a hammerhead shark. <laughs> I, I'd be scared if I saw a little Gek coming towards me in the water. The Gek are powerful. Small but mighty. Is there a bit where it like drops and gets deeper anywhere around here? Because that's what I really want to see. Or like an underwater cave. I'm really sad that I can't see the bases. But I've lost my connection to the online thing apparently at the moment. So that could be why. Maybe it is fixed. And I'm just having some issues. I don't know. We'll see. I want to go back to my hub world like with all of the bases showing up. Because there are so many bases there. And some people have built freaking ginormous things. Like it's really starting to become like properly colonised. But I just can't see any of it on my game. Which is making me super upset. Uh, but I'm, like, I'm sure they'll fix it. They're doing a lot right now. So you can't really, uh, you can't really complain too much. Holy moly. Look at this. Okay, we've got to get a little snapperoonie of this. One picture. Oh, and there's some pigeons. Where do I want the camera? The camera, the sun. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. What a place. Yeah, okay. They've done well to pick this planet. I think this is definitely one people are going to enjoy looking at. Okay, all right. Let me go find this uh, this next one. Oh, do I need... Um, I'm out of... There we go. Charge up the terrain. Hey, okay, get out of here, fool. Hey. No, why can I not... There we go. There we go. Thank you. I've got... Ooh, is that... Oh, I thought that was a huge creature then. I'll scan it anyway. We've got some weird underwater lychee. I love lychee. Lychee's delicious. Uh, oh, my gosh. I feel like... Has anyone seen The Beach, the Leonardo DiCaprio movie? I feel like that's where I am right now. But a little bit more alien. I mean, if I, if I saw a cool red grass planet on Earth, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Ignore me. I mean, I think most people do anyway. Let's scan these pigeons. I want to scan everything. They're all showing up as undiscovered, which I know is a lie, but that's just because I'm not connected. Oh, these look like actual pigeons or doves or something. That was the other thing as well. Like everyone telling me with my scanning, I just need to stay on it a bit longer. I know how to scan. It just sometimes doesn't work for me. There we go. There we go. Come on, pigeon. Catch the pigeon. He's got, I'm gonna, I lost him! Okay, that was just me being silly, but I'll get him. I'll get it. I'm probably going to spend quite a lot of time here. I'd like to discover every creature on the planet, just because it's the community event planet, and I want to, like, explore it all properly. But, yeah, what do you guys think of this place? I think it looks nice. I want to see some of the bases. I'm hoping if I, like save it and exit the game and reload a few times maybe my connection will come back and hopefully we'll be able to see some bases because i would love to see like look at this look how many bases are like all over the place being able to actually see them would be pretty cool so yeah we'll hopefully a bit of toying around we might be able to do that but yeah that's going to do it for this one guys hopefully you did enjoy it if you did enjoy the episode and you do like the series please do show some appreciation by dropping a like and a comment to let me know. If you want to support me that little bit extra, I do have the Patreon. And of course, if you've got any cool little fan stuff to send me, you can do that by the PO box. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Take care of yourselves. 
and peace. Just want to give a very big thank you to every single one of my current Patreon supporters. Anarchy, Dale from the Atlas Hub, Vogir, David D, Dead D Reza, Forgotten Stoner, Heath Husband Vader, Ixo, Joanne Zay, Johnny, Good Handed, Lukash M, Mac for a Day, Madeline J, Malin Dog, Mark F, Amras, Neil B, NTB, Ongrad, Autumn Long, Paul Lawson, Rasmus K, Legion245, Soroka Majelli, Samwise Gekji, The Golden Gek, The Portrait Dude, Todd C, Todd H, Ty the Blazer, Vanilla, and Wyo. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Thank you.